Myth 11, and this one was a real concern for our self-regulators and our community out there who are working with others. So, it, you know, in some cases it was school leaders, principals, or, you know, at a divisional level um, with various roles, but it was also in early childhood programs. We heard it in uh, at, from the colleges as well that, that when they were trying to bring it to the teams that they were working with, the adults, um, that one of the resistance that they would hear back was it takes too long to learn <laughs> and implement. And so, yes, we love it, but it, it just takes too darn long. You know, there's an honest answer and, uh, and a um, calming answer. Yeah. The honest answer is, yeah, it takes a long time. Yeah. Um, and if I felt that I had learned everything, you yeah. know, I, every day is new for me and exciting. But there is another aspect to this, and that is that I think you and I have seen in everyone that the second you start, the benefits accrue. Mm -hmm. that just that very first experience of, let's say, reframing a child's behavior or reframing something in yourself brings an instant mm -hmm. reduction in your stress. So, um, you know, I guess one of the anxieties, and that's an expression of anxiety, that question, right? Uh, one of the anxiety is, I won't start to experience the benefits of this until, you know, how long is mm -hmm. this going to take? And the answer is... Uh, what drives this process? You know, you and I talk all the time about uh, self-reg is a process, but what drives the process is that every single mini goal, every single stage brings its own gratification, its own benefits, and that happens right away. It really does, you know, and so I, I love that. I have an honest answer and a calming <laughs> answer, so I'm going to join you with my honest answer. <laughs> And then what I think might be a calming answer that you just sparked for me. So, yeah, it does. And I completely agree that it takes time. But it's not, when we say that, it sounds like it's, it's going to take three months or three years or six. It's lifelong, right? It really is. And so as soon as I hear that, um, it tells me that, uh, that it's still separate. It's still being viewed a bit as a program or a project or something to implement, right? Because um, you don't, you know, there's, there's a deeper understanding here. And, and in terms of the honest answer, the other piece I'll add to that is that as a teacher, um, I used to hear this about different things, not just self-reg. I've heard it about, you know, inclusion and about, you know, uh, setting, getting your classroom on the front end, relationships and things. But the truth is I have always been a big believer in front end loading in terms of, by that I mean relationships, investing. That's why September is so important and, and I really appreciate administrators who lighten the load wherever they can on teachers so they can spend time getting to know their class with their class really diving into those relationships and developing their classroom as a community together because it pays off over the year and it does lighten up it's like if you're trying to do you know people who'd have to do center play-based learning it takes a whole lot on the front end but then once it gets in it's easier as it goes so that's one thing i want to say but then the other calming answer and maybe i'll have uh, our videographers here link our the video i did on the joy of learning self-reg because I did a blog on this. It's the a vlog on it because one of the things about self-reg is it can be a bit yeah, over, overwhelming. You know, when I first started learning it, you know, I dove right in and that's how I got to meet you and, and I was so excited, you know, but I was very overwhelmed. Even doing these videos with you, you pulled me on, on you know, into a chair and it was a bit overwhelming that the science behind it and you are a walking encyclopedia, like whether you know it or not, you truly are, you know, <laughs> Like, really, you are, and that's, that was intimidating. So it got, you know, it was a bit overwhelming. And then I, um, I you know, I, I started, so I got excited, and I, thought, I actually thought I kind of knew it already, and I realized there was so much I didn't know. And so midway through yeah. my learning process, and this still happens, it's, I, I got a little bit overwhelmed, because then you start to think, well, how can I advise on that? I haven't even figured out this to myself, or I thought step four was this, and, you know, and so you're, you're, you're working through it, and, and so it got a little bit overwhelming. How am I ever going to know all of this stuff? And then you realize, hey, self, this is a process, this and is so good. is this journey, and you are the biggest process person I know. You're constantly trying to figure out new pieces to this, and, yes, and open to learning, and and I don't by any means have it all figured out, and I don't think I ever will. It's That's part of the journey. And so it brings this calm yes, again, which great. actually brings a simplicity that's to it. That's great. I don't know how else to explain it, but it feels simpler on the, you know, after you, you get that calmness that it is a process, it is a journey. It will make your teaching, your parenting, your um, managing, directing, whatever it is that you do, actually feel a bit calmer because you're no longer trying to have 
all the answers in every moment. You're constantly trying to figure out what the questions are. The why and why now? What can I do? Where do we go from here? You know, I have other things I could say, but that was so good. I think we'll leave it at that. <laughs> no, seriously, that's yeah. really, really good.